We're going to continue with our electrical installation process of installing conduit, this time going from the inverter over to the revenue grade meter. And from the drawing, you can see the conduit section we're going to be installing. We're going to connect it to a conduit body and simultaneously connect the conduit up into the inverter and also into the revenue grade meter. So let's get started with the steps. First thing we want to do is remove a lock nut from the conduit connector. So we touch on that to make that go away. Then we're given an LL body here, and we want to screw that connector into the long end of that LL body. So we touch it to move it into the LL body. This is going to allow that hard 90 degree turn from going in the inverter to going up into the conduit. Now we're going to install a nipple. Uh, let's zoom in a bit here. Nipple is just a threaded section of a short section of pipe. We're going to insert that into the LL body, and that's going to allow that to be inserted up into the inverter. Now we have a pre-bent section of conduit, conduit H, and we're going to have bent that already. We're going to move that into the LL body so that it goes into the conduit connector. And then after you, every time you do that, you always want to tighten that with your tuple of channel locks to tighten that connector. Then at the other end of the conduit, we're going to want to slide a connector down onto the end of that conduit piece. Remove the lock nut that always comes with it. And whenever you attach something like that, you want to tighten that as well. Now here's the magical step. We're going to simultaneously insert the top of the conduit up into the RGM and the bottom section up into the inverter. And we touch and move that, and it all gets inserted at the same time. Now we're going to finish by installing some ground bushings. We have a ground bushing that we're going to install down on the nipple inside the inverter, and also a ground bushing that we're going to install down on the end of the conduit connector in the revenue grade meter as well. Now we're going to secure the conduit. So we do this with a single hole strap. We're going to place it against the conduit so that we know where to attach it. Then we bring out a pencil tool, and we're going to touch and make a mark on the wall where that hole is going to be. Then we remove the hole away, leaving the mark on the wall. Now we're going to bring in a drill with a drill driver. And what you'd want at the end of this drill would be a half inch wide carbide tip drill, because you're drilling into brick. And so you want and half inch would be the size that you need. Touch against that to drill that hole. So you've made your half inch hole in brick. Now, let's zoom in a little bit here just to see. We've got a wall anchor assembly, two sections that we're going to slip in. So we'll touch that and insert that into the hole so that we have a wall anchor in place. Now we replace the single hole strap on top. And we can use our drill with a socket now to touch on that and drive in a uh, lag bolt into that wall anchor. And that pretty much does it for us. You've actually finished and we've attached the conduit to the wall. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.